Hello and welcome to the channel. This is the ultimate channel for all the things related to character design, epic alternate movie poster, badass looking costume and concept art. Not only that but in my quest to improve my craft, we will also be studying the pros and breaking down their techniques to improve our skills. Join us on this creative journey as we are going to create epic masterpieces. So sit back, relax and let's get started. I decided to recreate a racing track action scene from the movie Iron Man. I added some Formula 1 racing car to the poster to show that there's a racing going on. I marked them out as I only wanted the cars in the poster. The reason for recreating the scene was just an attempt at this time. As I moved on, I got an image and again, I marked it out. I initially wanted the bad guy to walk out from the explosion towards Tony's car. That's why I placed him small to show him at a distance away. I also got a real accidental image of a Formula 1 racing car although the quality wasn't that good. However, I didn't care about the quality as long as I had photoshop to work on it and make it look good. I made sure to cut out the debris from the cars and added the explosions PNG which I used in many of my posters. I tried my best to keep the poster originally my own but in the end I couldn't help using some of the same stock as an artist did from Instagram. However all of that is in the past now and I don't want to talk about it anymore. I spent more than 6 hours of my life on it and I couldn't just ditch this video as I did with the post on my Instagram. I found a 3D model of Ironmonger which was also of a low quality. But I didn't care anymore about the quality of any image. With photoshop we can repair almost anything. Anything. I got this screenshot of bots from the movie itself. Although I don't have any idea where I will use them. I will leave it to you guys to tell me what I had manipulated with the bot in the comments down below. Next I added the rest of the cars to begin blending more epicness to the poster. I placed paper pots and Natasha Romo. 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 Okay, leave it. It's all about blending now. But before that, let me just remind you about the hashtag I started to pick my top 3 favorite poster of the week. Use hashtag B sugar favorite poster to be the next artist on my video. Moving on, instead of working on improving the quality of the Iron Manga model, I decided to try something new. I did small painting work on it to make it appear of a good quality. As you can see, the change I made to the image is noticeable. It took me several minutes to paint so make sure you hit the subscribe button to appreciate the hard work. That was smooth right? Now let's start setting a tone for the characters. I want the overall poster to be vibrant and bright with explosions. As we are talking about explosion, the highlights and shadow must have a yellowish tint on them. I shifted the actor faces to match up with the lights coming out of the arc reactor. Moving forward onto the arc reactor, I want it to be brighter and emit sparks from inside. As Tony receives major destruction to his armor in the movie, the massive bright area I painted represent the fire I am about to add and it shows the destruction the bad guy has caused. Now on to the blending part, I will catch you in a few minutes.
and that's the video for today. Let me know in the comments whether I should post this poster again on my feed. Use hashtag SugarFavoritePoster to get a feature in coming videos. Until then, you know it, keep learning and keep creating.